Okay, now to a remarkable operation, brain surgery, where the patient is awake, completely conscious, while surgeons work to remove a tumour. A current affair was given unprecedented access by the man involved and the medical staff at Brisbane's St Andrews Private Hospital. It's one of the most compelling stories you'll ever see. Was this the hardest thing you've had to do? Oh, without a doubt. You're witnessing a young father's final farewell. Think about everything that we've been through. If his family ever plays this video, it means 33-year-old Simon Cox is dead. There's something left for Julie and the kids. Yeah. Now remember Dad. Yeah, I'll never forget Dad. <laughs> How special is your dad? Really, 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 really special. How would you describe him? This far from perfect. Simon's tumour is in behind his left ear. It's neurosurgeon David Walker's job to remove Simon's brain tumour. It's a delicate and dangerous operation. That part of the brain controls speech. If we damage it, he could have a speech problem forever. I know that everything is going to be great afterwards and we'll be fine. And I love you with all of my heart. I know that, baby. Heaven could wait, we're only watching skies. Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. No. Hooked on a song at the moment, Forever Young, by, by a youth group, they're called, and that's exactly what I want to be. I want to be forever young. I want to be around with my kids and my wife and my families. Well, we'll see you in hospital. No, no problem at all. <laughs> Anything could happen on the operating table. Simon's brain could swell to the point of hemorrhage. He could have an epileptic seizure, even a stroke. But to minimise damage to his speech, there is only one option. Keep him talking while neurosurgeons remove the tumour. Yes, as frightening as it sounds, Simon is going to be awake during his own brain surgery. when we get to the brain itself, that's when we get Simon to wake up. Anaesthetist Cathy Duffy needs to keep Simon calm. Your operation's sure. going very well. We're just at the point on, now please. where you're starting to wake up a little bit, so. Asking questions designed to test different parts of the brain. What do you call the instrument a doctor uses to listen to your heart? Speech therapists Julia Matthews and Fiona Hinchcliffe are guiding the two neurosurgeons around the most delicate areas, which, if damaged, would stop Simon from being able to speak. You're looking great. No, no, all right. Thank you. We're about halfway through the operation now, and surgeons are still attacking Simon's brain tumour. But what makes this so incredible is that hey, Simon is under no oh, anaesthetic no, no. at all. On the other well, side well, of that well. curtain, his brain is completely exposed. But because the brain doesn't have any pain receptors, he can't feel anything. So it's all going really well, yeah. yep. and we're just getting a microscope in to take you know, the rest of what we can see out. How you going, Amanda? I'm doing pretty well. How are you going? Very well, very well. Yeah. I'm very impressed. So Simon's going back off to sleep again. That's right. Sweet dreams. Thanks, Amanda. But before the anaesthetic could again take hold, Simon had one last request. Amanda, this is for Julie, huh? I'm going to go and tell Julie now for you. Thanks, baby. Let's go tell her. All good. It went Everything good. They're stitching him up now. Oh, Isn't that great? So, Hi. thank you. Isn't that wonderful? Oh. He made me promise I'd come and tell you. So here I am. That was the last thing he said to me before he went to sleep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> before he's even out of theatre, the brave patient is back with us again. We're doing good. I feel great. I just want to see him. When can we see him? There's the sight for sore eyes. Hey, baby. Love you so much. Oh, you did it, hey? You did it. Don't you? Did it. How's the patient? Feeling great. Yay! Survived? Yes. Three days later, 
the bandage comes off. Well, unless you knew he had a brain operation. Yeah, I mean, just hearing him talking to him, you'd be, you know, surprised, wouldn't you? So you're happy? Very happy. What's the first thing you're going to do when you see him after mm. he's been in hospital? Give him a hug mm. and a big kiss. A uh, big kiss too. That's a little joke, right? Well, you're getting bigger. <laughs> you're getting bigger. <laughs> you're getting bigger. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Family. This is just the best. It's the best. incredible story and our thanks to Simon for very bravely letting us watch his operation Amanda Patterson with that story